a little bit in, just a tiny bit. I know it's weird. Don't touch me. Okay. <laughs> you wanted it, you got it. What's on the menu today, Kyle? The birthday <laughs> starring Corey Feldman. That's right. So uh, we don't have a link to it, but you can watch it with us. That's right. Sorry about the quality, but again, this is the best I could find anywhere. It's almost as if they saw their own movie and tried to bury it somehow. Oh, I see. Right. Solid theory. See, I knew this was Corey before he even got close enough to tell who it was. I could just tell his movements by now from how much we've seen him. Just a sec. Hi, hi, Allison. Good to see ya. Come on in, close the door. Is he doing Jerry Lewis? Shit. I can't get this damn hair to stay in place. What took you so long? You're 15 minutes late. Uh, uh, well, I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry I was late. I, I was late because... He's doing Jerry Lewis. Is this the whole movie? What? I think that's his character. What'd you think? Why did you guys want us to watch this? Because they hate us. Oh, oh. Them watching us suffer is better than them enjoying a video. Solid theory. Solid theory. Yeah. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. All right, what is, okay. <laughs> they're, in a, they're in a hotel. He's weird, he's Jerry Lewis. Right. He right. has to have the same hair for tonight's party and I didn't want her to feel bad, so. Okay, there's a party going on. It's 1987 for some reason. That better be relevant. Yeah. That's awful. Seven of Nine is playing opposite of uh, Edgar Frog. Where did you get that? Well, it was my, my, my brother's um, uh, for his, his wedding. He's not good at this. He's like doing a bit, like. And he's really quiet. Right. Yeah, well, I, I thought I could borrow it and it would look fine, but I guess <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's definitely more of a, uh, more of a. Uh, what? Okay, here's the other thing that I did do a little bit of research on and I did test the video to make sure audio was working and stuff. This is a Spanish film or something. So it's an overseas uh, European film. Oh, you didn't shave, huh? No, I, I, I didn't have time. I, I didn't want to be late. We have to hurry. Okay. Okay. So, how was your trip? Oh. You know, I'm a little bit nervous about about meeting your parents. I, I mean, you know, not not too much. Just a little bit anxious. This is telling me that they wanted Corey Feldman so much yes. that they were willing to go over this language barrier. Uh. I'm going to see him in August, but I'm also going there to see Limp Biscuit and hang out with my daughter and her friends and like to party. Dad loves them. Oh, uh, well, um, you know, if you wouldn't mind too much, I'd like to be there. Uh, I, I just think that it, it would be a good first impression if, if, if we gave it to him together and he thought it was from both of us. Don't worry about that. Is this how Spanish people think Americans yeah, act? I, I'd like to help you. Is this how Corey thinks Spanish people think Americans act? <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's not, it's not a problem. I, I, I got I got money. I, I, just tell, how, how much was it? Really? Because <laughs> you have a cold. Uh, what can we say positive about this movie right now? The color is great. Okay. Like the color of the room. Look at this like Bakelite old radio. The sure. lamp. The set design is really good. I, I, yeah, cinematography and um, set design, lighting. Right. Looking good. Yeah. Uh, looking, uh, I was going to say, like, not even good, but like. Uh, Why? That's great. I'm sure your mom would love to Competent. <laughs> right. Sure. But better, yeah. Almost looks foreign to me now it's, that I know that it's. It's better than Lost Boys 2 and 3. Crazy. Let him do his I think jet that's black. His real hair. This is not. That is the lamest. I don't want to see vampires doing tricks like that. Yeah, the cinematography and the lighting and the set design. The hair alone. Right. Okay, but I Although I'd rather have that front rat tail juice.com. I bet he fought for that. <laughs> he probably like, did. In the last second, they vetoed it. Right. He's like, well, when, when do I dance? When do I sing and, and do this? And Oh, is he going to dance in this movie? He damn, well he damn well better. I hope so. Okay, so we're talking a lot, but we're very bored in this moment. So what do we know about this film so far? What do we know about the story? Uh, he's a nerd and he like hired her or she's helping him out somehow. 
He doesn't play nervous well. Come on. Even though he's actually a very nervous person. Oh, oh, hi, uh, how you doing? Uh, you going down? It's such a bad, um... Oh, you going up, either way. No, I'm almost saying it's an impression he's doing of something or someone. I feel like he's doing an impression of Jerry Lewis. Which I would not hire him to do. Why not make him what he's really good at, which is like a smarmy kind of, I'm not talented, but, but I'm acting talented all the time. Kind of like, a, oh, how about like a Leslie Nielsen where he's kind of fumbling through everything, but he thinks he's the greatest in his own mind? Unreal, man, Norm. Right, that would be way better. Face! <laughs> Hi, man, how you doing? Good shit, what are you doing here? Uh, I guess you could say I'm working, man. What are you doing here? There's like a, a Bill and Ted kind of guy. Brannigan Labs, pharmaceutical research. The way that they're moving, the way that they're acting, and the way they're being directed, feels closer to the room. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Then anything totally. good? Yeah. So what's that director that uses symmetry all the time and shots that look like this? He did like the submarine one with Bill Murray. Oh, 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 Wes Anderson. Wes, this looks like a Wes Anderson pick almost. We're showing up and everything. <laughs> Keep it down, guys. Keep it down. So I'll say, they're definitely trying. I like um, wardrobe. The suits all fit. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm running out of shit. It's only a minute, two minutes into the film. I'm running out of shit to say. Positive. It's five minutes into the film. Okay. Train is leaving. <laughs> you know, after all. They should really do some establishing dialogue or some foreshadowing or some sort of uh, plot drink anyway. device. Girlfriend waiting down to get. Which they have not done. And I would like more credit from the edit because this is an hour and 40 minute film that we're not watching the whole thing through. We're not gonna watch the whole thing. But even then, it's gonna feel long and uh, I have to edit that. Right. Scorsese? No, I thought the same thing. Well, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, geez. Meryl Streep look alike? Are we doing this on purpose? It must be. Mr. Fulton, you didn't have to give them one. I think they're really going for that Wes Anderson look. The, the camera work and stuff really does feel like it. The right. static and then whip over. And then the symmetrical corridors. Yeah. Nice. Forget about it. Which I can appreciate. Right. It's not bad. Are you with If anything, it's the most... Oh, yeah, yeah. Step it, it gets across the character of the film the most right now, which isn't... I'm sad to say. I'd rather it be uh, Corey. Hey, um, I'm with, with Alison Fulton. Uh, she was just with me a second ago. We were... Uh, Your Marsha. Are those the Beatles? I uh, don't. No. Uh, my name is... Are those guys from that thing you do? The Wonders? The Oneaters? They're Oneaters. Morris? Are you Morris? Ah, uh, yes, I yeah, am. Yeah, we spoke on the phone. The Barristers. Oh, I see. Uh, do you have your invitation? Cane? Sword? Sword? Oh, it's a cane. But why does it have a bow on it? It's a present? So whose birthday is it? We don't even know whose birthday it is. I is it his birthday? I forgot the name of the movie. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> This is so forgettable. <laughs> I mean, there's money in this. This is a, a real film. Look at this. Here, the score. Right. A score. Look at the set. I mean, sure, maybe they just hired this great hotel that they didn't have to dress up that much. But that's great, though. Good. Is he gonna piss in that plant? It'd be a lot cooler if you did. It'd be a lot cooler if you did, man. God, there she I really want to give this a shot. I, I want Corey to be in a film that's different from other stuff and that he can be someone else and be believable and fun and not have to be the frog brother or flailing dance guy. Excuse well, me, that's sir? exactly why we're watching May this. Yeah. Some people think that we're here to trash Corey Feldman. That has never been the case. Never. We originally did a Corey Feldman compilation because we love his acting. We want to check out what else he's into. I had no clue about any of this stuff. Right. So we had good um, intentions. Good intentions, but like we had good feelings about Corey, and and we were never here to tear him down. But it's fair to react to what we're seeing. Again, enjoy the party. Oh my God, that is the tiniest stage I've ever seen. You. I've been looking for somebody like you. Really? Absolutely. Hey, man, this place? Fantastic. Wow. <laughs> Me and my boys, we're gonna fucking kick ass here tonight, man. Do you want I should hang up your coat? 
Okay, what's happening now? Let's, let's try to focus. We're watching a movie, apparently. Are we earning the like button right now? I hope so. Hey, like and subscribe. Right? That's what you say on YouTube. All right. Julia! Julia! Really struggling to pay attention. Oh, it's tough. I think we're more entertaining than the movie. Wow, that says something. I What's with the glass? And there was another scene where he dropped the glass and then it went right back into his hand. Yeah. That was weird. Yep. I think the birthday is for a two-year-old. Was she gonna snot rocket that or something? What was the, I don't know what's happening. Is that good? You like that? Oh my God, that's- See, oh. seafood. Where's your parents? Okay, the oh, Asian, yeah. the Asian kid him. had to have an Asian dad? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I don't know. That's super racist. <laughs> to make Asian kids just have to have Asian dads. Like. It's hard to choose, isn't it? They all look to me. Uh, I'm really, I'm really trying. Good. The, the majority of substance in this film so far is the camera work. Oh yeah. The and the set. It just don't work. Like, the dialogue's not hidden. No, dialogue and the acting and the, the, the physical, the actual story of what's happening is people standing in hallways and standing in big rooms that are against walls. Uncle Casper. And kind of muttering. Mmm, mm, I don't want one, I'm starving. Did the kid spit on that or something happened to it or the guy sniffed it? I, I don't even get the joke right now. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really distracted by you know, you look how bored I am. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, this is kind of entertaining. I, I do hope this picks up. I don't know what this movie's about. And it's called The Birthday. I think it's all gonna be in this room. All gonna be in this hotel. They put the majority of the money into this set. Right. Yeah. yeah. I don't think they can afford to relight anything. <laughs> and that's okay. If you look at it like a movie like Clerks, right? It was in right. black and white, that's all they could afford, and it was in a convenience store. Yeah. But the writing and the kind of acting and saved it all. It gave that guy his whole career. You were talking to my Uncle Casper. Well, of course I was talking to your uncle. He was talking to me first. Now, what, what, what do you expect me to do? I mean, first of all, everybody was calling you Mr. Fulton. I thought he was your father. Well, on top of it, you guys. Is it weird uh, that I'm distracted now knowing that this is a foreign film? I think everyone is foreign looking. <laughs> Sorry. Well, what did you want me to do with it? I, mean, I was trying to hide it for you. You, you, you said that you didn't want your mother to see in case I ran into her. You I ran into my mother? Hiding the... Yeah, yeah, as a matter of fact, I did. You so, talked to my mother? Oh, God, Norman. Jesus, Norman. Look, it's not that easy, okay? Down. Look at my father. He's very upset. Even he looks like some kind of other American actor. Um, not James Caan, but... Um... Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. There's tons more food than... Yeah. This guy. The actor in the back, I thought, looked like the Back to the Future guy. We really don't do any research. No. So we'll just keep saying stuff and hopefully it makes sense. Or we cut it. Glass. It doesn't have to make sense. What was the point? So the gag so far was about the cup, or the glass, and then right. he got rid of it, and now the gag's over? Allison, come here. Ah, wait, Allison, I'll be right you... back. Just two minutes. Don't move. Okay. I ask a who like this. We still don't know who the birthday is for. Maybe he's seeing the hors d'oeuvres, the crap. What are you looking at? You're not well. What? What did you say, kid? You, you know what? Be, be the kid. Okay, that was cool. I guess. That was weird. Weird. It was weird. In some movies, the person starts out with a foreign accent, and then by the last scenes, like they just talk in their normal voice. I'm waiting to see if that happens to Corey. <laughs> yeah, eventually he's. I bet Corey's gonna go. Shut my window. I guess a Pepsi would be. I forgot they were even in Baltimore. Did you, when you see all of this, do you think Baltimore in the 80s? No, I think uh, Chicago in the 30s. Yeah, again, that could be interpretation of filmmakers taking creative license. I don't really care. Uh, Brought to you by Pepsi. <laughs> okay. So what is the point of that? 
His hair looks good. Doesn't it? It does. Right? That's good. That's a without the rat tail juice dot com. This building's just one big freezer. Ever been in a freezer? She needs more necklaces. No, uh, not maybe. I have once. He was a butcher, you know. <laughs> I just don't think he plays this character well. No, I don't either. He, he almost blends in with the background, not even in the foreground. <laughs> like right. I'm staring at the Pepsi can, the a bottle more than him. It's not a strong character. No, it's very weak. And and you can have weak type characters be strongly performed. Something for Christ's sake. I'm trying to see. Trying is not enough, Morris. So I'll see what I can do. Oh, for the love of God, it should be so difficult. Might just be the quality of the video, like it's just yeah. blending everyone, but. We keep seeing all these celebrity lookalikes. Comment below the list of all the celebrities we tried to name and couldn't remember their names, so we just yeah, correct those. quoted the movies that they're in. I love being corrected about that. Oh, them. look, it's uh, Jesus from Big Lebowski. Hey, Marion, just a stage name. And now, ladies and gentlemen, one of so, our... So, go on, Ron, what kind of business are you in now? Well, we've got the restoration of the East Wing of the National Aquarium underway now. Finally. It's been out of use ever since some thugs broke into it 10 weeks ago. The is, Again, I applaud the camera work. Uh, this is hard to do. It's not easy. You can shoot this over people's shoulders way easier and faster. Right. So they're they're definitely um, making the camera work part of a part a character in this world, which is hard to do and, and, yeah. and cool when done well. I agree. Was a popular show. That being said, uh, the content of what it's shooting the camera is. Losing me every second. The dolphin voice decoder. The dolphin voice decoder. That's right, exactly. I'd forgotten. Were you there? Uh, yeah, I, I, I was. So did you actually get to see those dolphins talk? Uh, well, the, the, the way it worked was, um... Well, somebody in the audience... Okay, please cut away. No more, no more moving. No. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to get seasick. It's also just slowing everything else down and right. you can't edit faster you can't just move to the next right. line of dialogue faster if, if the scene is dragging which would uh, emit a high-pitched frequency okay the, the director would never cut that shot He's like I worked so hard to set up that shot yeah. I wrote the dialogue to go right around the table oh you're a genius he's not <laughs> I've just worked with directors that I'm like, this shot doesn't make any sense, it's gotta go. And they're like, no, it has to go in the video. What do you do, young man? I work in a pizzeria. An Italian restaurant. Where? Brooklyn, actually. Brooklyn? Are you from New York? Uh, no. Uh, Brooklyn and Baltimore. Brooklyn in Baltimore, that's funny. <laughs> well, my parents are from New York. Oh, that's interesting. Well, anyone listening would think you were an expert in dolphins. Uh, where, where did you learn to talk like that? Um. Hey, fuck you, man. <laughs> right. The park, and I, I was with my cousin Timmy, and we, we, uh, we picked up one of those pamphlets, you know that? A pamphlet? No. So he read it in a pamphlet. Well, he read how to talk like that in a pamphlet when he was a kid in the park with his cousin Jimmy. Did I get that right? I believe so. Good, that's good. If it looks like consternation on my face right now, it's because I'm concerned. <laughs> What's the matter, Casper? We're just chatting. Aren't you interested? Answer me, boy. I put in work to get this video. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, you guys really wanted us to watch this, so I was, you know, I'm, I'm in, but uh, I'm here. The way he had to find it and research it and bring it over, and we have our equipment set up, and, you know, we have this <laughs> studio, and it's in order to watch Corey Feldman in the birthday. I can see why this is completely buried. Oh, yeah. I mean, the first minute I could feel it, and now it's been confirmed. There's no point in this movie that I think I probably can't skip over because we talked over the beginning where we found out what his and the girl in pink, what their relationship was. We talked over that and I keep thinking, should I go back? And I keep remembering that it won't matter. Does the Asian boy matter? I hope. 
more in the film? Is this supposed to be comic relief? Is it his birthday? <laughs> I gave up on the whole birthday idea. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to make sense of like a scene. Now he's embarrassed and, and Quasimodo walking away. Dude, fuck, dude, I've never seen puke like that before. <laughs> it feels like I've got razors in my throat. Yeah, let's just keep on drinking. It's the best thing I heard all day. So why'd you leave like that? The lighting's great. It is. This is another Wes Anderson shot. I was feeling very uncomfortable in there. I mean, it, 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 I don't think your father likes me very much at all. And I, I would have appreciated it if you would have, you know, stood up for me or something. I, I mean, I felt like I was just kind of left, left all alone. Don't be silly. I mean, my father is like that with everyone. The writing is, is pretty stilted. Well, the acting is bad. Her timing is terrible. You know, maybe I, uh... He delivers the line and human beings wouldn't like wait to remember the line and then say it. They would just respond. He's waiting too long. But but even the the, the actual written dialogue uh -huh. sounds I just want you to be it doesn't sound naturally human. All right. To talk to you. Maybe it's all translated from Spanish. I'm sorry. I just didn't get a chance. It's all. It's fine. It's fine. This could do a lot to be more entertaining. Yeah. Just there can Daddy, please. Maybe it's his birthday or her birthday. Do you guys still care whose birthday? Oh, we'll figure it out. There's gonna be somebody in the comments that says, you guys talked over, but obviously it's blah, blah, blah's birthday. Okay, power went out. Ah, Allison! Yeah, like you're that disoriented with people with flashlights and stuff in the room. Shit, I lost my bracelet. Hey! You what? What? Idiots! It's upside down. Turn it around. Then it goes in the kitchen. Get it in the kitchen. Come on. Hey, you! What are you doing? What the hell is going on here? What are you doing in here? Okay, well at least the film is turning into something else. Yeah. Hopefully. All this. I'm sorry, Mr. Fulton. You I have no idea how much how these people got in here. Do you think there's a dolphin in that box? I don't care. That would be neat. You would if it was a dolphin. That's interesting. Like from Johnny Mnemonic, where it was all like rich, like a had the headgear. Yeah, stuff. totally. Okay, yeah. Ronald. And then, um, and then they cut it up and eat it for his birthday, as they do, as they did in '87 in Baltimore. I keep forgetting we're not in Spain. I don't know what Spanish people eat. I just know they conquer the Americas. Room, he needs air for Christ's sake. <sighs> okay. They gave him a. <clears throat> uh, Nitroglycerin pill? Get away from me, goddammit! Are they just dabbing him with ecstasy? Yeah. Time to trip balls, old oh, man. Oh man, this tuxedo feels amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the music. <laughs> this carpet is incredible. All right, get on stage. I don't ever really say that ever, but get on stage, Corey. Get on stage, say You this. see how he was looking at the stage, though? Longingly, yes. Yeah. It's big wrong time. I think he's gonna go up there and redeem himself as a cool guy. We haven't seen video of that, though, of him dancing or anything from It's hard to believe. They're like, these assholes just talk over the whole thing. <laughs> we talk over everything. We dare you to watch us on your own somehow and uh, you not drift off somewhere else mentally. I mentioned to my wife the other day that like our whole video premise is just us watching TV and me talking over it. And she's like, you know, when I first met you all those years back, 
your big pet peeve was people talking while the show was on, and now that's what you do for fun. Uh, and I said, yeah, the irony's not lost on me. He said, yeah, I'm a big fat hypocrite. I mean, because you... some people are commenting like, you talk over the show too much. I'm like, yeah, I know. That's that's our whole channel. That's all we do. My father, my father used to say, the cards, <coughs> the cards never started anything. Thank you. Start singing, Corey. God, please save the day with dancing. Flail. You <laughs> flail like you've never flailed before. What the hell is he talking about? Thank you. Thank you. They don't even know what he's talking about. Right. Don't nobody understand the words coming out of your mouth. Well. I can't believe it. Why is she doing this tonight? They are. They're back in the They're going to be in this. This is the This is the main set. They're not leaving this hotel. Oh, no. They're acting all this in one day, too. <laughs> The camera setups, if you have them planned out. There's not one day. How long did it take to film this if it was only filmed in the hotel yes. and you're using ambient lighting? No, they're not using ambient lighting. They're using tons of stage lighting. This is a set and uh, it takes tons and tons of setups and you can't film everything that's in that scene in that shot because not everyone's on set that same period of time. No, that's true. It, take, it would still take a long amount of time. Oh, because they don't have, it's finally turning into the hangover. <sighs> okay, something. Chicky, 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 chicky. Yeah, the audience won't know what you're talking about because I have to uh, bleep this out, but. Uh, uh, I don't know. Here, all that to these. Uh, you know what This is to convince us that we're in the 80s? Yeah, Run 87. DMC, and some, some dude had a. a what uh, is this, Daisy of Love? <laughs> Like what of those dudes would it be normal to have a Breakfast Club t-shirt on? Right? The wheelchair guys just spinning around in the back. <laughs> uh, the lights were, were, were like going down. I love getting shirtless with my bros and um, spitting up the champagne all over myself in the middle of a room in a hotel. Yeah. I, <laughs> I've never been to a party like that. I don't ever want to be. No. I'm really focused on the dude in the wheelchair. <laughs> the guy, he just ran somebody over. <laughs> He's like assaulting them with his wheelchair. Fucking good time, man. That's rare. Yeah. Could this film have worked without dialogue? G getting across the same feeling? I wonder if with no dialogue, this film would be any worse. It could only be better. Better. If you're swinging like that. Maybe if they subtitled everything, it would be even better than that. Like if it had been done in Spanish, maybe I would like forgive all this more. But his delivery is so bad. Ever, ever since she got back from Europe, I haven't seen her till tonight. And it's just not what I expected, you know? I mean, she's acting weird. Well, maybe that did it. I wouldn't even suspect that any of these people have spoken to each other before this moment, rather than, oh, they're best friends and he's with her and the, they're trying to get married. Like, I wouldn't think, it seems like they're all, they all got off on the same bus and like they're just in the room together. Like that video of him rapping to the boom box where they yeah. had this dance. <clears throat> like, he just got a bunch of people from the bus stop and then now they're acting the same day. Like, there's just something wooden about the acting. He said, something, something, family, or what? And then he stayed there for a second, and then he went back to his drink. Like, yeah. it wasn't natural at all. I never <laughs> any of my business, but uh, seriously, if uh, somebody gave me a present like that, I'd be, uh, I'd be thinking they wanted to marry me, man. So uh, <laughs> just be careful. You. That's what that's what you'll be thinking. You think that? I don't know what his character is. He supposed to be uh, mentally disabled? Is he supposed to just be awkward? I don't. I really don't know. I don't know where his intellect is at. It varies so wildly. Yeah, depending on where his intellect is. Like, if he's supposed to be like low IQ, then it makes more sense. But if he's just supposed to be a regular guy with a stupid voice, it's. It's even worse. It's terrible. It's completely unbelievable. Hard man. 
Do you, do you really think so? I mean, you think I should... Have Which is too bad, because uh, I will say this, Feldman is trying. He's putting himself into a different character, whether it works or doesn't. doesn't. And it, it, can we, we can even say the director's um, director wanted this more. Yeah. And I'm going to walk into that stupid party and I'm going to pull her right out of it. And I'm going to give her a piece of my mind. I'm going to tell her exactly what I feel. Yeah, more jump cuts. That wasn't me editing. Let's just, let's, right. let's move. She's dancing with her dad. That'll take two minutes. Then you can tell her what's on your mind. Yeah, she's... Um... So is it his girlfriend? Were they... Or I thought it was an escort. <laughs> I really did. What? I did, because he pulled out some money. No, that was, uh, no, no. No? No. Are you sure no? <laughs> he seems sure. <laughs> All right. OK. All right. <clears throat> Stuff happens. They're in the same elevator again, or? I feel like this is how Corey reacts to romance in real life. I feel like this is not a performance. It's not that. Susie, I, I'm very, Susie, just slow down. There's no cameras around. Hold on. Look, this isn't how Michael taught me. Don't pretend. Oh. <laughs> you can put it in. People want, pe people want them. People want me to say that? I'll say it. It's fine. All right. I'll say something equally weird. <laughs> the thing about white people. <laughs> no, people always. Oh my God. Just. Remember when we used to have the buzzer? <laughs> I, I missed that buzzer. I know. Bogus. Bogus. God, Norman. I thought you understood. I, I understood what? What, what? what don't I understand? Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh. oh, Jesus Christ. You found someone, didn't you? You found someone else, and you... Well, thanks for the warning. I, I, I appreciate it. I mean, couldn't you have at least warn me? Well, are you gonna say something, or are you just gonna stand there? Norman... I have a lump. What? What the fuck is this answer. movie? What is this movie? Oh, my God! Oh, God, Norman! You felt it? I'm not, I'm and then he you. recoiled. He's like, ugh, uh, cancer. I want to marry you and I love you. Uh. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. I want to spend the rest of well, your what life together I mean, anyway. When did this start? When did it happen? When did, I mean, when did you find out about it? <laughs> a few days ago in London. A few days ago? A few days. It's freaking huge. Oh, God, I mean, where, where the fuck did it come from? I mean, have you talked to a doctor about it? Have you seen somebody? Jesus, Norman, fuck! Okay, it's not that easy. My whole family gets cancer. My grandparents, my Aunt Susan, my mother. Norman, my mother had a double mastectomy last year. I mean, what do you want me to do? I can't tell them. Oh, God. You have to tell them. They have experience with this condition and can uh, give you stories and coping mechanisms and relate to you in a way you can share the experience. And uh, healthcare in America is pretty expensive, so you'll need a lot of money. Not if you go to Spain. <laughs> Spain has government healthcare. Right. We're in Baltimore. And oh, we're in Baltimore. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you're gonna die. Remember the uh, the the Breakfast Club shirt and Run DMC. We're in Baltimore, obviously. Oh, I forgot that Run DMC is from Baltimore in the oh, '80s. Yeah, right. It's nothing. What are we in a Fight Club now? What is that? So same hallway, but now it's off. It's not centered. That's right. Right. Disorder. What I'm saying right now, out loud, is that I know about cinema. Right now. Right now, out loud. Out. We said that a lot for like three videos in a row, and then we haven't said it in a long time. Out loud. Now what? Okay, spooky stairwell. I'm getting some space vampire vibes. Please, movie gods, destroy that Russian website I found this on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go back and watch the space vampire episode. <laughs> I think... It's better than this. I think a lot of people that suggested the birthday would really enjoy <laughs> space vampire. I think you're right. 
<laughs> right? Look, it has the same kind of spiral staircase action. Yeah. Long shots. Weird characters that yeah. shouldn't say anything. Right. It's all there. I'm pretty sure somebody lit this and it took hours and hours. And You're they, right. They had theory and they felt this was going to be great. You know, and, and, and yeah. then they get this. No, this is great lighting. And it's a great set. It's a great location. Diff different light colors. Yeah, they're, like, they're working. They're, this is good stuff. Look at the shadow, right? Implication. Right. We're thinking, we're trying. It's just not all there. Yeah. Like our AI videos. <laughs> <laughs> Go check out some AI videos. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't mean to bother anybody. I, Brought to you by, accident, I by AI yells and stuff. Oh, no, you don't have to help. I got it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh, Alright, we didn't we didn't skip over anything. I'm not sure what's happening. Please don't hurt me. Don't move a muscle. It'd have been really cool if that was Crispin Glover. Oh, Crispin Glover, that would have been great. I would have been right in there. Them? One of who? One of them? Is this a vampire movie? I, I just dropped something. I, I shouldn't so, be here. I you were telling the truth. For a moment there, I thought you were. Doesn't matter. Hey, wait a second. You were at the party, weren't you? That's not a pointer. I, okay, shut up and listen to me very carefully. We don't have much time. My name is Theodore Byrne. I'm not gonna kill you. But you have to make an effort, understand? Again, do you see what I mean by the writing? Yeah. Okay, listen. Everybody working at this hotel, the manager, the waiters, everybody, they all belong to a very dangerous sect called the Chosen of Akiriloa. According to their belief, their god is gonna be born here tonight. God? What are you talking about? I know it sounds like a bunch of bullshit, but the weirdos that believe this crap are killing innocent people. Oh, we've been sent here to stop them. We... The birth of Baphomet is gonna happen at that boring party? Wow, you remembered that? I've, I'm so focused on hoping something good is coming up next. Well, that was interesting. Someone got murdered. Oh, yeah. Off camera somehow with a shovel. And my first thought was, I wish this was five minutes into the film. Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah I really needed to know this way sooner. What time stamp are we at? <clears throat> Yeah, 48 minutes. That's 40 minutes into what the actual plot is. And he says it so quickly. Right. <laughs> we got so much of this wasted time. And it and I went with And it just happened. And you got it. Got it? It's like, no. If the person next to you was digging through their popcorn, you wouldn't have heard that dialogue. You still wouldn't know what's going on. Well, that's why I came down here. But Candy wrapper. Is that... Is that a guy from Gremlins? <laughs> Is that the kid from Gremlins? I always laugh when you What happened to him? Did, did a Gremlin bite him? <laughs> Is that what happened? Huh? The sec second page? Go on, go on. What? Once it regains consciousness, its first act will be to invoke its troops. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They will be the gods' arms and legs, eyes and ears. Everything it needs to move in this dimension. Uh huh. Once the second phase is completed, you will know Corey was really good at being under 18, mm -hmm. and then after he turned 18. I'm not saying that, I've said that, and I stand by it, but that's not what I'm saying. But this character would make more sense if it was a kid acting crazy like that. And he's in a position as kind of like a childlike man, so right. it doesn't. I, or yeah. if he was 19, but he's 50. <laughs> right. You just left that guy to die. You're still here. Good. You're still here? It was five, three seconds ago. No. No, but you didn't run away because you're going to help me kill the cult god no, at the party. Because he was shitting his pants. Look, if we can get everyone out of the building, we'll be okay. You know, everybody... Pull the fire alarm. Downstairs. All right, well, you know what? I, so... I was complaining that this was a very slow and weird and dumb, pointless kind of style of, I mean, not style, um, story, but we are getting something different. However slow and long and boring it got to this point, let's see if this goes into something. Yeah, let's Cult stick around. Raising a god and... Kid, come on! We gotta get out of here! Oh, wait, wait, wait! I'm holding out hope it's a gremlin. <laughs> Baphomet is the name of the god from Night Reef. Oh. That's why I came up with that name. Exactly. I, I didn't hear that here in the movie. Oh, okay. But okay. the cult 
thinks that their god is going to be born at the party. That's the real right. thing. What's his name? And that's what it was in that crate, I guess. Write down this number, Norman. You got a pen? What's that? Well, it's a, it's a pen, but good. But but you can't use it because it, it it's my 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 girlfriend's father's gift, and it, it's very. Never mind. Just go ahead. Fuck it. Okay, this is the plan, Norman. They've closed off all the exits to the building. So, go up to the roof and climb down the fire escape. It's the only way. Tell them it's all over, but that we need reinforcements. Okay, so, yeah, but, but it hasn't. They're, they're still talking. Violence. Fast. It was one of the four places the children of Ikiraloa were preparing for their ritual. None Who? of the people that only speak Spanish are going to be able to understand any of the dialogue. The subtitles are going to go too fast. Until the end. They're saying way too many names, They're saying way too many names, way too many places. Beeps two more times, that's it. And they're explaining plot devices at the same time? Right. <clears throat> if only Philip was still alive. Who? Who's Philip? You know who they should have got for this movie? That skinny kid from the um, the uh, pimp rap movie that was the DJ. And you have to hustle and flow. Hustle and flow. <clears throat> they should have got the skinny kid from Hustle and Flow to be no, Corey Feldman. No, 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 I, I can't take. To play Corey Feldman playing this guy? Right. I agree. To play as Corey Feldman playing it, that would be hilarious. Take it. Okay, okay. Why did he give him a gun? Why do you have a gun in space? Name that movie. Why do you have a gun in space? <sighs> Tell me. It's either Deep Impact or Armageddon. He doesn't even remember, and it's Armageddon. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so Please. all of the hotel people are in on it. Right. And... And now he's acting suspicious. Was that technology around in uh, Baltimore in 87? <laughs> Well, the, the hotel is definitely in the Art Deco style, which was popular in the 20s. So it's supposed to be some kind of historic hotel. But it would have been way more run down. If it was still doing well, which it wouldn't have been, because no. it would be in a Baltimore. bad part of town. I don't know how to use it. In New York, old, old hotels do well. Sure. No. Don't do it. Don't do it. Fuck! Help? We could talk about anything. Right. And it well, was... Well, that's what this video is then. Ugh. But I, I wanted to watch a good movie or something. We don't watch good movies. Or a good, bad movie. <laughs> right. Where's Chuck Norris, man? I wish this was Rotor. <laughs> what? Oh. We're just gonna shoot six frames a second to save money. That does combat? <laughs> <laughs> watch that episode. I wish this was Carnosaur. Beast. Okay, thank Ooh. you. <laughs> that was great. Well, they can't show the skyline of Baltimore in the 80s. No. Because they're in Spain. What is he doing? What is happening now? He has stomach problems? Did he shoot himself? He pooped himself again? Poopy pants, poop my pants. Poopy pants. Is he having like kind of some spirit thing? It looks like he's having a spirit thing. So if that's really, I didn't get that at all. He, he was like, he had his hands up, and then he like went like this a little bit. No, he's panicking. And the... he ran away from the cultists. His, his character weirdly. <laughs> well, I guess that is Corey. He's weirdly expressing uh, fear and panic. If a vampire did show up, would that redeem part of this? Oh, this would be my favorite Corey movie. Seriously. Wow. Don't tease me like that. Like it was- Vampire or it, zombie? It's 87. Right. You're in the 80s, why right. not have, you know. He could be his own uncle. <laughs> okay. I'm my own grandpa. I'm my own grandpa. I'm my own grandpa. What does that mean? In transmission. No, he could be his own uncle and this, he could be like a uh, Cornelius frog. No. And the whole family knows how to fight vampires. <laughs> this is the lore. Right. <laughs> the canon. I'm stuff. already writing a better movie than the one I'm watching. Okay, Prince album. <gasps> Dude, that album's probably worth 700 bucks right now if that's wow. Prince's original album. 
Okay, so either these guys are dead and most of the people are dead from the cultists or some thing or they're sleeping, I don't know. Don't really care. Kind of looks like Vegas in the 70s. Oh my God. Are they dead or drunk? You guys? You guys? See, this part of it's the hangover. Where's Mike Tyson? Uh, uh, bomb? What is that? Is it a b b b bomb? <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a. No, 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 no. His head right should have fallen off. You know? That would have been great. Okay, so the cultists have done something. Okay, there's a sword. Yeah, touch Is it. Everyone touch died. All, yeah, put your fingerprints all on it. over it. What the fuck? Shh, one minute's me. What happened? That wasn't staged at all. So. I will say that, and here's the thing, is that I am impressed with how Corey is sticking to this character. He's 100% in this. I wouldn't say, <clears throat> look, is this a great movie? No, I can feel that already, but is he the worst part of it? No. Bone couldn't have done this to your friend. Is he the worst part of it? No, and I'll say because- What if Tom Cruise- Better get away from the door. Come here. Was this character, and he wasn't doing the stupid, like nope. Jerry Lewis. Shit. He has to do it. I bet that's direction. I bet that's 100% direction. What if Jim Carrey was doing the Jerry Lewis character? Oh, that'd have been great. Right. That'd have been great. I don't get it. Yeah, every last one of them. These kids must have had contact with the vaccine before. Drugs, drugs. They were here testing. They were Brannigan Labs party. They they were here testing drugs. Drugs. What kind of drugs? I don't know, new drugs, vaccines, prototypes. Finally, something makes sense. And his hair has been perfect this whole time. It really has. So kudos, hair design stylist. Hey, that's a good point. Thank like, you. a lot of people overlook that a lot. And, uh, you know, there was nothing I could do people get awards for best hair in a movie. You can get an Oscar for that. Yeah, like, let's, let's cut off the top of his head so you can't see all of his hair. That's calming people's hair in movies. Give me back my gun and go back to the ballroom. And the hair comber in this movie did great. Comment below if you're a movie hair comber. Is he gonna bust a nut? What is he doing? I don't know, but we have to think of something. We can't give up now. Not now. Oh, you can't lose your feet. I mean, that's how I feel watching this right now. <laughs> Same desperate, crazy look. We can't look. give up now. We can't skip ahead. <laughs> We're too deep. <laughs> this is funny. You hear that? You just like presented me with a challenge. You're, you're like, can we watch the rest of this whole movie? <laughs> the answer is no. Like, are we gonna like not have more episodes this week just because we're watching this piece of shit? <laughs> <laughs> we could have had three other videos. I know, totally. Can you hear it? This must be the way they wake up their god. This is a trial run. It won't do you any good. Believe me. The first sign. The first thing that's happening. The what? Like, not only can I barely hear them, but also they're muttering and they're speaking way too quickly and moving too fast. Right. Is the god being born? Oh. I'm all right. I'm all right. Like, why would you even do that? That was nothing. It was nothing upon nothing. And we sit on a couch talking and saying that's nothing. That's something. With them. What kind of cake is that? Is that the, is that the uh, hotel made out of? You could be. I don't know what that is. It looks is. like it's made out of like Cardboard. pelican cases or something. <laughs> they just stuffed all their gear and they're like, yeah, it's a cake. Those people are making out. They don't really that's hot. care about what's happening. But we should, right? Listen very carefully. There's no decoy. Both parties are real. There's energy materialized upstairs and downstairs. Now the ritual will be completed down here. But we gotta stop it before the third phase. Third phase. Third phase? We're missing so much, and I swear to God, I'm really trying here. It doesn't matter. Touch the cake. Remember, okay? Hey, the boy in the wheelchair. He's a boy. Remember. The, the, the boy in the wheelchair, he's important somehow, or whatever he said, like, what? Oh my god. Don't worry, folks. Just nothing. It's nothing to worry about. Good vibration. I'm trying to save my energy to last, outlast this film. Hey, everybody, you like this ball I know you will eat that. You know, this is a channel exclusive, I suppose, that no one, who the hell else is bothering? Nobody else has the birthday. We're the only ones. <laughs> 
We're special. <laughs> God damn it. There's a lot of important stuff going on right now, okay? It's very important that you you just focus. Don't even edit this one. Just like play the whole thing. The whole out. thing. Maybe, Ex maybe except I will. when you said like all that. Get organized. Do we need this in a week? No, people aren't ready for the truth. <laughs> That was a joke. A joke. <laughs> I can't even keep that in. No, you can't. Jesus. What about Patreon? Just cut back to the. Oh, Patreon! Like, they're like, uh, unclick that $3. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Too late. Oh my god. What? What? It just doesn't. Who opens their shirt when they're choking? <laughs> Why are you opening his shirt? Yeah, put the gun at everyone. I'm really losing hope he's not gonna get up and start singing all of a sudden. It's making me sad. Oh, the farther this goes, the less I think he's gonna dance in the movie. We concluded that he dances in every movie. I thought he could, maybe because it's Europe, they have special laws that say <laughs> you, you can't flail like that. And <laughs> Corey Feldman can't dance. <laughs> That's... That's so touching to me. <laughs> God, I would love that so much. They're ahead of us in a lot of ways yeah. with their laws. Spain's like, this is how progressive we are. <laughs> Corey Feldman can't dance in our fucking country. <laughs> oh my God. That's the guy that was getting wasted at the bachelor party. Yep. He really knows how to hit his marks. Like the doors came through and then he came and then he's in the middle, and then he left. Throwing a little pop lock in or something. Right. You know you want to. Duh. Giant dildo. I don't know what we're looking at half the time anyway. I mean. Right. So he's not in the wheelchair anymore. Oh yeah, the guy got out of the wheelchair. I barely noticed that, because I was looking for more phallic looking things. I know. Well, it's it's your way. Fuck. Damn you. I like who I am. <laughs> 3,000 other people like it too. I can't be wrong. Out of the 100 billion people that watch YouTube. You don't like rice? Tell me, Michael. How could a billion Chinese people be wrong? You don't like rice? How could a billion Chinese people be wrong? <laughs> oh. Finally got... Uh, that movie back onto YouTube. Yeah. I know we have to brick stuff like that. I hope we don't have to do We're it. We're not gonna have hopelessness, disillusion, the age of a curious law. If you knew about uh, all these people, why didn't you fucking stop it? Why didn't you do something to stop Because it? you never know where they're gonna be. Do you have any idea how many children of a curious law there are in the world? I don't even know what he just said. He said, do you know how many cultists there are out there? You can't stop them. I thought he said something about children. That's the name of the cult. Stop the ritual. Children of Akito or whatever it is. <laughs> but now, Akira? <laughs> fighting stuff. Akira! Yeah, they're really into anime. You can't That's trust so old! Love. Oh, there is no love. That's bullshit! These scenes go on to... And if there's hope... Long. I... Agree. Is everyone getting stabbed? I mean, what's the... How is this... They're stacking up bodies like they're in NWA. Because we're in the 80s or? I guess. Yeah. 87 might have been NW, no, NWA is like 89. 90, no, they were, they were around. 19 mother oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I like how we can, just think Spain is like a lawless <laughs> wasteland. Of but it's also together. more progressive because they're passing laws against Corey Feldman. I like it. Yeah, no, it's it's pretty... You don't have to make sense all the time. Comment below if you're from Spain. España. <laughs> I said it with a lisp though, like Span. España. España. That's only if you're in Castilian. Je ne sais quoi. What is... I... How is it? Don't Maybe she's about to go. Boy, would I love some celebrity boxing right now. <laughs> We're skipping celebrity boxing. We're <laughs> skipping uh, Rock of Love with Brett Michaels in order to watch the birthday. You're welcome. You're welcome. Who are you? 
I want to see the alien pop out of someone's chest or some shit. Come on. Oh, that's what was in the crate. That guy's terrible at hitting stuff. Yeah. Is that the demon juice or whatever the... Well, yeah, just break the thing and let the demon juice come out and then they can't do the ritual or this whatever. This is a collection of the, the front rat tail. Screen. Oh, yeah, that's Corey F. Feldman's front rat tail juice .com. It's not real. Please don't go there. That domain's available. <laughs> don't steal it from me. I'm going to get it next week. And make millions. Why did it go quiet? Because they believe that the visuals and this uh, way of filmmaking is going to outdo the audio. It really would have gone with audio here. Ooh. Why would he be able to hear his own head getting punched if he can't hear anything? Feldman took a punch. I just don't get what's going on here. So sh the they're whipping, whipping people. They're crawling around and this is pretty strange. There's a dead body. They need the bodies? Maybe. Okay. That was that girl. All right, is she a vampire? Be a lot cooler. Okay. She's taken away. How many staff could you pre pretend to be? I mean, it's like 80 dudes. Well, I don't know. Fight Club did a lot of infiltration shit. Yeah, I guess so. His just name was Robert Paulson. It just looks weird when you have, you know, 70 guys in the white tuxes for a right. small party, or a party of 50. Please change into whatever you need to change into. We gotta finish this movie. Like, oh, we didn't focus. Uh, we got the shot. <laughs> Do we nope. get the shot? Yeah, we got it. We got it. Did you like check the view? I got the shot. <laughs> I've been doing this for years. You know what? I filmed 22 yogurt commercials. You don't tell me how to shoot the camera. In Mexico. <laughs> Spielbergo. Yeah. I really need you guys to spend money on makeup and or some kind of practical effects to show that they're changing and not just like ha they had a bad burrito. Right. It does look like they had a bad burrito. Is he going to... I don't know. Is he going to chop some heads? Now he's going to do that after getting... That wouldn't scare me. He didn't... Why would you do that? You wouldn't. To make the lighting worse? I think it, they're implying that it's making some kind of sound. Oh my God. Would have made more sense to do that to a microphone or a speaker. <laughs> not a light. It's okay. It's over. It's over. We did it. It's not over. What? It's a god. What? It's, Kiri Loa. it's almost like the dialogue was tertiary. Not, yeah. Not even secondary priority in this film. I don't understand. It's almost like it was quaternary. Tell us what you know. Quincentyral? <laughs> Sextillion. <laughs> Would rise again and he did. Daddy, please. Quiet, now listen. What do we have to do to stop this? And by the way, like, <clears throat> if the gentleman who's acting in this film, that gentleman with the voice thing, if he legitimately had that issue, um, I understand, but incredibly distracting, already not working well for a film that doesn't really make the dialogue a priority. So it, it's harder to even follow him as opposed to everyone else who's already hard to follow. Psycho closes. Yeah, everyone's mumbling. Everyone has a stupid voice. With the person genetically closest to it. Do something. In order to save everyone here, I'd have to die. 
Well, I wasn't suggesting that I was... Do you have a better idea? Somebody has to do it. No! Daddy! Do it! Just look around you! Do you want to leave people to suffer? Again, that's not scary to me. No. It's very stupid. Just hit them with the axe, they'll stop. The music feels so out of place. It's like a John Carpenter I know. scene. I don't. It just or a fifties. Well, okay, fifties style. Are we supposed With to the know? With the pen. Didn't you have an axe and a gun, a knife on the table? You're gonna use a pen? Oh, he has a trachea. The tracheotomy. Thing, but. <laughs> the most violent way to kill him slowly. Like he's gonna die very slowly. He's not dead yet, and they're all and dead already? you swing like this, and you got it right in the right tracheotomy hole? Yeah. Well, that's, you know. Come on. Corey nails his shots. He's a professional. <sighs> okay, now everyone. This movie sucks shit. Those guys fell down before the guy was even dead. Well, they they knew what was coming. They're, they're all medical experts. Uh, Allison? Norman, uh, Al Norman, I, I just wanted to say that you've shown great courage, Norman. You absorbed everything that just happened, and you right. want to—you you feel the need to tell him about. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't absorbed what happened, and we got every part of the movie. You know, I've been thinking about what just happened two seconds ago. <laughs> no, the way you stabbed him perfectly in the trachea hole. No, no, no. Gasper, no, not your daughter. What? Oh no. There was like a switch? Is that the real guy? Allison! Allison! Norman! You could chop everyone to pieces in this room and I wouldn't care. Right. They're back again. He has to kill her, but it's okay because she has breast cancer. He has to kill his girlfriend in order to save everyone from this tuxedo orgy. But the dad needed to die. It didn't work. Because the daughter's there, she has to die too. Because she's the next closest kid. So would you use the, the chopping side or would you use the spike side? Use the pen again. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, just make it make no no more sense you than. You don't need the. You don't need the axe for this. A brisk pen can do the job. What is this? What is he doing? Is that threatening? How do you hold it? Do it. No, they'll save somehow. But do it and do a dance about it. Are they gonna do that Marvel thing where they come back in the credits and show everything? Oh my god. That they got you. They got us in many ways. What if there was a post-credit scene that made all of that make sense? You mean it's the filmmakers pointing and laughing at us? <laughs> that would be it. I couldn't help but notice that Corey never brings up this movie. <laughs> Oh wait, he did bring it up in did. one thing that we watched. He did. I think it was because it was premiering. Oh, because he bragged on the two Corys that he went overseas to go film this movie called The Birthday, which I star in, and then had a poster right. of it. And then so I'm still a star. Right. It was tough to watch, but we're here for you. What we do is just for the audience. No, that's not true. Uh, some of this was done very well and most of it was not done very well. However, I don't want to say that it's all Corey's fault or the filmmaker's fault. A lot of effort was put in this from a lot of people 
and it shows up and comes through. What doesn't translate, and I'm kind of saying that because I know it's kind of the, the, the foreign film, and that's the risk. You could have a great film in Spanish or mm -hmm. in Spain, and it may not translate over here, and it may just not be that great of a film when you put all the pieces together. Yeah, maybe it's this kind of foreign film style that we don't understand. Maybe the, the culture of movie watching in Spain is different enough to where this is the kind of movie they like. Or they're going for like a niche that we don't get and we're not supposed to like love right, right. away. Right, or maybe Spaniard just Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Channel exclusive, everyone. <laughs>